Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a chit chat get ready with me using new products so you'll get, so you'll my, get my first impressions on a couple of new products as well as we'll just talk a little bit about stuff that's been going on. Uh, and I did this little pop of pink in my eyeshadow so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look definitely keep on watching. Alright so today I'm going to film a video, I'm going to get ready since the quarantine situation I have not gotten ready really that much before this whole situation happened I did order some stuff from Sephora so I've had this stuff just sitting there because I didn't feel like putting makeup on my face honestly with everything that's been going on I just been so overwhelmed and I'm sure everyone else has too but everything will pass and we will all be okay um, yeah so let's get into the video Today, I just want to put some makeup on and play with all the new stuff that I got. I kind of want to do like a pop of pink on my eyes. I'm going to start by moisturizing my lips. So this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask Duo. Comes with two lip masks and this was a collaboration with Netflix. I have not tried these before. Um, I have tried the Balm the lip glowy balm it's somewhere back there but I love that and I really wanted to try the little pot mask so that's what I did I ordered it and I got to try two different ones so yeah in that little bag these two little lip masks came and they were on sale I'm not sure if they still are on sale if you're looking for a good lip mask I highly recommend Laneige their products are amazing and have not let me down so far so that's what that looks like on my lips I'm gonna go ahead and start to moisturize my skin because it feels very hot and very dry because I have not moisturized um, all I did was wash my face and put a toner on um, I wanted to put this in the video because I feel like I don't show like the steps before your primer so honestly before you put your primers on you definitely want to take care of your skin you want to moisturize really well your whole face and under your eyes under your eyes if you don't moisturize with a good eye cream you will crease that's gonna happen no matter how much you um, set your under eyes so you definitely want a good under eye cream this is the cream that I've been using it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel super amazing it's not greasy but it moisturizes my skin really well I am also very acne prone so anything can break me out and this has not broken me out thank the lord so my, for my under eyes i'm gonna go ahead and use my superfruits banana brightening eye cream from earth to skin i've mentioned this bad boy before this is a drugstore product as well as the neutrogena one um super affordable honestly the better you treat your skin the better it's gonna look i'm gonna use my primer water from smashbox in love with this spray so this one is a primer water it sets and refreshes your face um, makeup so this is what it looks like it smells amazing and it, it acts like skincare as well so while that finishes up drying I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows because I really don't have anything new for my eyebrows but I'm gonna use the Anastasia dark brown powder duo which you guys know I swear by this super amazing I haven't done my eyebrows in a very long time so bear with me before I go on I know I look crazy um, I just wanted to show you something this is the Monate lash and brow serum I've been using it religiously um, for a while now and I've seen a difference in my eyelashes I don't feel like lashes are a necessity for me now but honestly I feel like a good lash mascara would do with the way that my eyelashes are looking um, they feel stronger I feel like I have a lot of new growth and that uh, they've actually gotten longer so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on before my makeup and yes you can put this on before your makeup um, you just want to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before you do any makeup on your eyes so I got the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer which is huge um i didn't think it was this big but it is it's very big wow so that's cute the packaging when you open it is purple and on the inside it says beautiful faces equal beautiful futures so i guess when you buy from the tatcha website it helps you know for education towards women so you pull it out i guess oh wow so fancy 
So this is what it looks like. It comes with like a little paper. Okay, so the primer comes in this little like bag. So I'm gonna just, okay. So this is a little like pin, I guess you use to scrape the product out. So this is what it says. The little paper, it says, the silk canvas is an invisible filter that instantly blurs, primes and protects, color corrects and includes our anti-aging complex of green tea, rice and algae. With a hefty price tag, I would expect it to be really good for you. So, um, this is the little chip I guess you get to like dig it out. It comes with like a little line and so you got to get enough product to hit that little line. So I've never used this before. Um, so when you rip the little bag open, you get the canvas, the silk canvas. This is, it feels <laughs> very heavy and it's quite big as well. Um, all of Touch's products are very luxurious and come with an amazing smell. This smells amazing. I love the smell. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay. So scraping it out, I got about that much product, which hopefully it's not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and run this, warm it up with my hands and then put it all over my face. Mainly focusing it where I have large pores. Mm, it smells really good. I went ahead and I got the Sephora Micro Smooth complexion powder and I got mine in sand looks like this I'm praying that this isn't too dark but at the same time summer is coming and I'm lucky enough to have a good backyard so I can go outside and get tan so I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes with this powder this is the color that I got I'm gonna use these new AOA studio brushes which I got from online as well. I've heard really good stuff about this brand in makeup brushes, so I'm hoping that these are really good because if they are, they're only a dollar each, so that is amazing. I wanna play with some pink eyeshadow, so I'm gonna take my bronzer. This is just my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. And I'm gonna put that in my crease as my base color. So I'm just taking the AOA E127, which is like a blending brush with a little bit of bronzer. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. Right off the bat, these brushes are absolutely amazing. They're really soft. They're doing what they're supposed to do. So I really like that so far. I've only tested out three of their brushes so far and I really enjoy them. So if you're looking for some affordable brushes and you don't wanna pay so much, but you want some good brushes, definitely look at this brand. Um, I'll try to leave the link in the description down below so you can just click that and shop around. So that's what that looks like. I just put a little bit of bronzer in my crease. I'm gonna take this Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust um, eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. I haven't really used her that much on my channel, so I'm gonna try to use it today. I'm gonna take that pink moon color just this color right here and really lightly put this on and I'm gonna put that right on top of the bronzer we just went in with in the crease area yes look at look at this this is a nail okay <laughs> what the fuck I was just mind blown. Like, uh, that's the first palette I've seen do that. Look. So I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. eyeliner, which is like $3 at Walmart. Really good bomb eyeliner right here. I'm gonna use this mascara. This is my first time using it. It is the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise Volumizing Mascara in the shade Black 201. So I've never used this before, but I'm gonna try it out today because I've heard nothing but good things. I've heard it's a dupe for the Too Faced mascara, so we'll see. 
I love my Too Faced mascara. I'm gonna take this bright pink from the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette, which is this ice pop color right here. I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is this Touche Eclat Le Tint Radiance Awakening Foundation in the shade Warm Almond B BD30. It's a YSL foundation. So it looks like this. I've never used this before and I'm really bad at finding my shade. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. It comes with a pump. That was, this is about three pumps onto my hand. This is more of a glowy foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it with my sponge. I love my sponge, I don't like using anything else. It actually has a scent to it, so if you are sensitive to fragrance, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this, but I like fragrance, so I don't mind it. I always put foundation on my ears just to help match myself. I really like the way this foundation looks. It's like going on really smoothly. I don't know if that's a combination of the primer and the foundation, but so far I like it. It is a medium coverage, but I'm trying to see if it builds up to a full coverage. So I'm gonna take my sponge and my Anastasia vanilla powder and I'm gonna not bake under my eyes, but set my eyes before they crease really bad. I'm gonna go in with my Sephora powder and a fluffy face brush. So now we're gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna take my Physicians Formula Bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze my face today. I'm gonna go ahead and use Sunset Rose, Pink Moon, and a little bit of shade. I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush now because we need some color. I'm gonna use the Bird's Bees Blush in Shy Pink. pink this is what it looks like super gorgeous color I love this blush to death I'm gonna go ahead and carve out under my contour yep I'm gonna go ahead and put some highlight on I'm gonna take butterscotch from the Anastasia highlight kit and just highlight and pop that on my cheekbone a little bit under the eyebrow I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face a little bit with my max face plus okay so to end this video I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of lip liner and a lip color so I'm gonna take this color this lip liner in angel from lime crime I'm gonna line my lips with that and then I'm gonna do this appeal lipstick in the shade Naked. This is a product from our last Boxy Charm, and I'm just gonna top it off with this Dominic Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss and your primer. All right, so that's the finished look. I really enjoyed doing my makeup today. I haven't done my makeup in such a long time, so I really needed this. I really enjoyed it. I had fun. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I used pink in the inner corner. Let me know what you guys feel about this. Obviously, I wouldn't do this for an everyday type of look, but for a pop of pink for springtime, it's okay. I really do like the way it came out, so I'm interested in knowing what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below with your um, opinion. Do you like this makeup look? Would you do it on yourself? If you do recreate it, definitely tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is gcoronado96. All my social medias will be linked down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to see you guys join my little family here on YouTube. We are growing and that makes me super, 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 super happy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's look and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,